Hello guys, in this video I'm going to derive the Fourier series of the absolute value of x on the interval negative pi to pi. So let's start off. So obviously the absolute value is an even function, that is the absolute value of negative x equals x equals the absolute value of x. And thus by Fourier series for even functions or symmetric ranges the absolute value of x can be expressed as the absolute value of x equals a0 over 2 plus the sum from n equals 1 to infinity of a n cosine n x. Then, for all n an element of the integers greater than or equal to 0, a n equals 2 over pi integral from 0 to pi of the absolute value of x cosine nx dx on the real interval 0 to pi. And then for n an element of the integers greater than or equal to 0, a n equals 2 over pi integral from 0 to pi and then just a regular x cosine nx dx. Thus for your cosine series for x over the interval 0 to pi can be applied directly. So by the definition of f function a0 can be expressed as 2 over pi integral from 0 to pi of f of x dx since cosine of 0 is 1. And then this becomes 2 over pi integral from 0 to pi of x dx. And then just evaluating this, this is 2 over pi and then x squared over 2 evaluated from 0 to pi. And yeah, plugging 0 into this, this is just 0, so this becomes 2 over pi times parentheses pi squared over 2. And what is this? Well, just pi. And then for n greater than 0, by the definition of f, a n becomes, by integrating, equals 2 over pi, then cosine nx, over n squared minus x sine nx over n squared evaluated from 0 to pi and this is just 2 over pi times parentheses cosine nx over n squared minus cosine of 0 over n squared. Notice the sine terms have cancelled out. This is simple because sine of pi and the multiple of pi just zero and sine of zero is also zero so yeah but what is this well it's 2 over pi parentheses actually negative 1 to the nth power because if n is even well then we get cosine of 2 pi cosine of 4 pi cosine of 6 pi and so on and so forth and that's just 1 and if it's odd like pi or 3 pi then it becomes negative 1 and then over n squared minus cosine of 0 is just 1, so 1 over n squared. So we have two cases when n equals 2r, and that's just a of 2r, and this is just 0, because then our first term just becomes the same as the second, and it's all 0. But then we have the second case when n equals 2r minus 1, that's odd for r greater than or equal to 1. Uh, well, a to r minus 1 is going to equal 2 over pi parentheses negative 1 to the 2r minus 1 power over 2r minus 1 squared then minus 1 over 2r minus 1 squared. And this is easy because negative 1 to an odd power is just negative 1. So this is equal to negative 4 over pi times 1 over 2r minus 1 squared. Yeah, and then f of x is by definition equal to or approximately equal to a0 over 2 plus the sum from n equals 1 to infinity of a n cosine nx. But we just calculated a0 and a n. So let's plug it in guys. This is going to equal pi over 2 
minus 4 over pi sum from n equals 1 to infinity oh well now we can just change our variable without loss of generality so this is just cosine of 2n minus 1 x over 2n minus 1 all squared thank you guys for watching have a nice day